Hi, this is Rose from Viking and Islander and in today's video, we're gonna have fun! So I ordered clothes on ASUS from Dubai. So they have this app and they also have a website, of course. So I ordered some stuff that I thought is responsible edit and I ordered it last March. I received them on April 11th um, and right away, I made a video. And when I'm checking the products one by one, and I am not happy. <laughs> wow, this is so thin. This is so thin, and I bought it. My God. And this is expensive, by the way. Um. Anyway, like I said, on April 10th, I watched the two cost because I came across with that film, and also I watched it from uh, Kristen Leo. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but yeah, Kristen Leo's um, YouTube channel. So I just want to tell you that I'm not proud of this purchase. If I could turn back the time, I would. But even if I haven't watched the two costs, I already been uh, watching my purchases. I started the uh, thrifting, shopping from thrift stores, ukay ukay in Philippines. And I also started looking at this fast fashion brands, Conscious, Responsible Edit, Aware, or I don't know, there's a lot of greenwashing things. I thought, I really thought that they are working towards sustainability. Turned out I am just another victim of greenwashing. But anyway, that is one of my rants. I don't want to bore you with my rants about sustainability and the ethical companies kind of thing and also about the environment. I know some of you don't care and it's up to you. It's your decision. It's your life decision. This is my decision. I want to work really hard towards it. Anyway, let's start with first nice dress. Okay, so in the app, it says, it says that it is resistant to wrinkling and easier to iron. And that's bullshit, man. It is not <laughs> resistant to wrinkling. I will show you the video and I'm really, really upset. So editing rows, play the video. So if this is wrinkle-free or resistant, um, I don't know. I don't know what is that definition anymore. And by the way, they said also that it's easy to iron no it's not <laughs> it's very difficult for me to iron it out so asus what do you think anyway to be fair i really like the style to me well another thing that i really don't like about it is so thin and there's no linings to at least you know protect me <laughs> you know protect from seeing so the next item is this blouse i have to adjust the strap I don't really like it. I have to leave with it because I want to punish myself and I want to remind myself that I made a wrong decision. I made it work for me. So what I did is that I tucked it in. I think I can I think I can wear it when I am attending seminars. The thing that I don't like about this video is that I didn't tuck it in very well. But anyway, um it's just for illustration only. In real life, I will polish it. Or sometimes in real life, I just don't care. And then I pair it with a coat. I think it would work work well with some coat. But I am not sure if I choose the right coat for this. Eh, it's fine. It's for illustration purposes only. And then I think this is my favorite item of the mall. It is this white dress. I really like it. Um, I like the fabric. I like the embroidery on it. I think the only thing that I have issue with is the arms because it has a puff. My shoulder looks wider. But let me know if, if it's just me or it's really not going to work for me. This dress is actually my favorite because Asus, you're not cheap on this. I mean, the other one. But this, you actually put some effort to put a lining on it. So the next item is this yellow blouse with pop sleeve from Vera Moda. I ordered it from Asus, but it's from Vera Moda. I like it, so it's cotton. And what I did 
to style it a little bit is I tuck it in and I paired it with this white pants that I also bought from fast fashion and I'm not gonna tell you I'm not going to promote them <laughs> so the next item is like three sets I got three t-shirts in black white and gray and I think they're pretty okay I mean they are thin which is perfect for the summer so the next one is this green uh, blouse and now I am going to explain to you uh, this is actually supposed to be my favorite but because of this issue no <coughs> so the major fail for this shirt is this lining um, it is just too loose oh my god Sorry. it's just too loose for me um, either I will repair it like I um, stitch it here maybe I'm gonna stitch it like this or <sighs> what I'm doing right now is that I am um, unbuttoning it and I just tying it like not so yeah there you go so yeah that blouse needs repair <laughs> I don't want to waste my time returning this these items I don't know when are they going to refund me so and I and I also want to remind myself how bad my decision is and then the next item is this jumper jumpsuit romper I'm not sure how you're gonna call it but maybe it's a jumpsuit I like it actually um, I like how flowy it is but what I don't like about it is the armpit. It's too loose, so it needs repair again. <laughs> so I need to repair that. I can work it out. So because I cannot wear it with just pasties, I have to wear a bralette so it will work. And I think it, it worked pretty well. I just really need to repair the armpit side of it. And then the next is this mini dress for regular size but because I'm petite, it's not super mini dress to me it's just a dress above the knee and I really like it it fits me well and I can actually wear without any bra even strapless bra, I'm not really wearing a bra in here I got my husband t-shirts one is white and one is brown I won't be able to show you the brown one but this is the white one it fits him well. It's really nice. It has a side slit. And my husband said that it is comfortable. So yeah, I'm fine with it. So I got my husband this skinny fit long sleeve. It's really nice on him. So, But because it is lightweight, it is super thin. So this is the part where you're going to know why I will never buy again from ASOS. Number one is the quality. Of course, obviously. Even though uh, some of them is okay for me. Okay, for example, the first dress, they didn't even bother to put lining on it. It's pricey. It's 170 dirhams. And in dollars, it is 46 US dollars. Like, oh my gosh. Like for me, it is expensive knowing that it has a thin, very, very thin fabric. And they lied about it. So they said in their uh, website, on product details, it says that it is resistible when it comes to wrinkling and it's easy to iron. But guess what? It's bullshit. It is so wrinkly and I cannot iron it out. I know how to iron guys. So yeah, just so you know. And there's no lining. Knowing that it's so thin I can't wear it and number two is it's pricey I said it is pricey because it's not worth the money the, the first item is 46 US dollars it doesn't have lining the, the stitches is not so good the zipper is really hard so really hard to pull up uh, I, I expect more quality on that price mm, fitting so it's the the white dress even though I like it I like the quality pop sleeve is too much i really want to know how how much puff it needs to be puff like seriously and of course it's uh it's unethical i mean if you're pricey 
and your product is like that, I don't think you're ethical. And it's also not sustainable. I mean, I browse again from other items, from other products. Most of them are made from synthetic fabrics. If you want to know the, the list of synthetic fabrics, I can help you with that. I have a link below for that. So those are not my websites. Those are my reference for what I'm talking about in this video. Very disappointed if you're using synthetic fabric which is not biodegradable so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know some people don't like anna's review on asos and other coal but this is what i experienced and this is my own opinion about this brand it is all up to you it's all your decision but you really need to be more aware and be responsible of your purchases like what i did today i own it i will punish myself for this it's okay that i will keep them but i will never buy from asus again so this is the blouse that i don't want to lay my eyes on it this is 63 dirhams and i don't think it deserves the price i mean i'm from philippines i i know the fabric i know you know in in baklaran in divisoria they're selling this and this is so we use this kind of fabric in making pillowcases cheap version of the real silk that's it and it's not pretty it's disgusting so maybe in this video you will see that oh rose it's shiny and it looks silky but it's not I can meet up and i can show you it's really bad i will show you the model of it guys please uh, don't buy this you're just gonna waste your time your energy and okay rose if i were you i'm not gonna buy anything past fashion and i will buy a decent one from ethical brand from sustainable brand and from local brand it's pretty simple local ethical sustainable wanna support your own country just make sure that they are sustainable and they are ethical that they are paying right wages minimum wage earner so thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you soon on our next video bye bye